Playing host to a large gathering of family or friends during the holiday season can be overwhelming, but the good news is your Gaganau convection oven is designed to help you cook a large meal to perfection with very little stress. There are several different cooking methods you can choose from to cook a turkey in your Gaganau convection oven, and each one will yield amazing results. Convection. The steps for roasting a turkey in convection are very simple and actually using the convection mode makes it easy to coordinate the cooking of the entire feast so everything is ready to serve at one time. The benefits of roasting a turkey in convection include better moisture retention and flavor. No turning or basting is needed. The cooking time is faster than normal recipe time. However, you still need to factor in 50 minutes for resting, carving and gravy making. The good news? All the side dishes can be loaded into the oven while the turkey is resting and the circulating convection heat will cook everything evenly. When roasting a turkey in convection, we recommend seasoning the turkey with a dry rub of kosher salt and your preferred seasonings a day or two in advance of cooking. Cooking the turkey. Ideally, let the turkey sit in a cool place outside of the refrigerator for an hour prior to cooking. Preheat the oven in the convection mode to 400 degrees. Set the turkey on the oven roasting pan with a rack and place a metal skewer between the legs or tie the legs loosely together. It's important to know that your turkey will cook faster in convection and tying the legs too close to the body keeps the turkey very cold and therefore it may cook unevenly. Placing the turkey on the rack in the shallow pan ensures that the juices stay in the turkey during the cooking and it also allows the heat to circulate evenly around the bird. There will be some drippings, but if you like, you can add some vegetables to the base of the pan and a little water to enhance those drippings and get a little extra. Insert the core temperature probe in the thickest part of the breast horizontally, making sure not to touch any bone. Slide the tray into the oven and insert the core temperature probe into the oven receptacle. Set the timer and cook the turkey for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Then reduce the temperature to 350 degrees for the remainder of the cooking time. For small turkeys up to 15 pounds, allow one and a half to two hours cooking time. For turkeys up to 20 pounds, allow two to two and a half hours cooking time. For turkeys over 20 pounds, allow three to three and a half hours cooking time. For food safety, the internal temperature must reach 165 degrees in the thickest part of the breast and thigh. While the turkey is resting, the internal temperature will continue to rise and most likely read 180 degrees by the time you are ready to carve it. When the turkey comes out of the oven, set it aside to rest for 20 to 30 minutes. Then carefully pick it up with two kitchen towels and drain the juices from the cavity into the roasting pan and set the turkey aside on a rimmed carving board. When carving the turkey, you may notice an area around the bone will be red. Please do not be alarmed. This is a characteristic of convection cooking. As long as the meat is cooked, you are perfectly safe. Discard any vegetables you added to the roasting pan Combine all the pan juices and skim off the fat. You are now ready to make gravy and begin carving the turkey. The 30 inch and 36 inch Gaganau ovens can easily accommodate up to a 25 pound turkey or two smaller turkeys side by side. The 24 inch Gaganau ovens accommodate up to a 20 to 22 pound turkey. Additional methods for cooking your turkey in your Gaganau oven include Low temperature roasted turkey. Low temperature roasting is another method for creating a truly fabulous turkey feast. And the good news is very little carving is involved. In this method, you take your preferred selection of turkey pieces and give them a dry rub with the kosher salt and seasoning. A day or two before cooking is best. The turkey pieces are then cooked on one of the oven baking sheets in the convection mode, 200 degrees with the core temperature probe inserted in the thickest part of the turkey breast. Once the internal temperature of 165 degrees has been reached, the turkey pieces can be brushed with some barbecue sauce, 
and finished on the grill or roasted at 400 degrees in your convection oven. This method produces very juicy meat with wonderfully crisp skin. Rotisserie. The Gaganau 30 and 36 inch convection oven features a rotisserie attachment and this is yet another way to make a truly amazing roast turkey. A weight limit of 12 to 14 pounds is recommended and of course there's no basting or turning involved as the bird self bastes as it cooks to perfection on the spit. When preparing the turkey for the rotisserie, now it's important to tie the legs very securely to the body as uneven weight can cause flipping on the spit, resulting in uneven cooking. In convection, heat circulates around the food. In the rotisserie mode, the food circulates in the heated air. So select the top and bottom heating modes for the best results and choose the default temperature setting of 340 degrees. This temperature will give you an evenly brown bird to perfection. And remember, you should still allow time for the turkey to rest before carving. The core temperature probe cannot be used in this mode, so check for doneness with an instant read thermometer following the timing we have recommended. For regular bake, if you prefer to use a traditional recipe that includes stuffing or to brine your turkey, then we recommend that you use regular bake, the top and bottom heating elements, and the recipe timing. The direct heat in this mode is more beneficial for cooking meats that have been brined as they help to absorb the extra liquid that was infused into the meat. When cooking a turkey with stuffing, it's especially important to follow the recipe timing to ensure that the turkey and the stuffing are both thoroughly cooked through. And the longer cooking time in the regular bake mode is better suited to this preparation. However, always be sure to use the core temperature probe to monitor the cooking progress to achieve accurate results.